Hello, welcome to the Landsweeper OT architecture training video, where today I'll be covering everything there is to know about Landsweeper and OT and the architecture behind it. Um, so to start with the basics, what is OT? OT is basically operational technology that is used in manufacturing, transport, energy, utilities. Uh, basically, they're hardware and software systems used to control and automate industrial processes. Um, so this can be anything from kind of uh, supervisory control and data acquisition or SCADA systems, uh, distributed control systems or DCS, or any PLCs, programmable logic controllers, um, any kind of basically operational technology within manufacturing, transport, energy, utility sectors um, can be scanned or can be also inventorized with Landsweeper now. Um, but before we head into showing you how you exactly do this, let's take a look at what the architecture of the Landsweeper OT scanner looks like. So the OT architecture within Landsweeper is actually quite similar to the Landsweeper classic architecture, meaning that you have one central hub and then a number of additional sensors or scanners, whatever you would like to call it, um, that are connected to it. Now, unlike the classic architecture, the hub of the OT architecture kind of combines the local web interface with the database, so that's one component, and then all of these sensors are additional components that you can then connect to it, which means that basically you have one central hub with multiple scanners or sensors that go out and retrieve the actual data. Now, along with the hub and every sensor, there's also a update service that is installed. This is to ensure that obviously your sensors and your hub are always up to date and are updated automatically. So you have the latest version with also the latest support for potential new protocols, which you can then use to scan new devices. Now to actually report on all of that data. So once you've collected all of the information using the sensors and the hubs, that's where Landsweeper comes in, the hub connects to Landsweeper to the cloud interface of Landsweeper to then show you an overview of all of the OT devices that you've scanned. So obviously you can connect multiple hubs to a Landsweeper site, which means that basically you have one Landsweeper site with potentially multiple hubs connected to it and each hub can have multiple sensors connected to it um, so that you have plenty of kind of scalability and also options to scan your entire OT architecture. Additionally, we're still improving the OT scanner regularly. So since OT scanning is quite a sensitive thing, uh, these OT devices can be prone to uh, you know, outside influence or probing by different kind of protocols. Uh, we want to be very careful with that and very selective. Um, so we are continuously updating our OT scanner, adding new protocols, improving the existing ones to scan the new and more devices and scan the current ones better. Um, so there are continuous updates being done to it and we're still improving it over time. Um, but with that being said, I think I've covered everything there. There is to be about the OT architecture and you can head over to the next video to learn more.